Hi everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cyberpunk on PC with mods to create character builds that you can then actually use on your Xbox. Um, so this is this is super useful. Now there's going to be a number of links in the description below this video that will link out to other videos and other websites and other instructions so you can kind of get started if you're not familiar with it. But with the 1.16 update, what happened was um, Cyberpunk and uh, CD Projekt Rake enabled um, cross-platform cloud saves. Now, if you weren't aware of it already, with Cyberpunk 2077 on PC, you can you can use mods with it, and these mods can do all sorts of wonderful things. We can have flying cars, um, and what we're going to look at today is the uh, it's called. Let me bring it up so you can see it. The simple menu. Um, which is a great little mod that allow, allows you to unlock things. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to unlock vehicles. Um, and you can also level up your character and you can play around with the, the, the quests and things like that. It's always best to do as little as possible. Um, but obviously we don't have mods on Xbox. But because we have this cross-platform um, compatibility now, we, we can create characters, as I say, on PC and swap them back. So it's probably easier for me to kind of show you what I mean and then afterwards, you can use your imagination to, to come up with different ways of doing things. Now, the other thing that I will say before we, we start is that there are some mods, for example, like the flying car mod or the um, free fly mod, where you can, you can transport your character somewhere where they wouldn't be able to go to on Xbox. So think about that. And also remember, we're not actually going to be installing any mods on Xbox or PlayStation. You, you can't do that. We're just playing around basically with the save file. So let's go into Cyberpunk on PC and let's load up uh, this Street Kid. So this Street Kid um, uh, character, this is a character that um, I've been using on my Xbox. Um, so we'll go into here and what I've done already is I've unlocked um, uh, the, the Porsche, which is Johnny's Porsche. But what we're going to do is we're going to unlock something else as well. So let's get out of here. So there's Johnny's Pulse, which you've done. Obviously, for this character at this time, um, can we. How do we go into here? I can't remember how to look at it. Okay, but for, for this character this time, there's no way they should have the Porsche unlocked. So if we bring up uh, the simple menu, um, there's loads of different things we can do, but let's go down to. Uh, where we've got question around vehicles. Let's go to vehicles. Let's oh sorry items and let's go to mish vehicles. Here we go. So let's unlock a vehicle. So let's look for um, Jackie's arch. So let's unlock that. So we go vehicles, unlock selected vehicles. So hopefully what you should see now is that when I bring up the um, vehicle menu, we should have there we go. So we've got Jackie's arch as well. So we should be able to call in Jackie's arch somewhere and it should turn and I don't know whether it will turn up or not because we've already got the Porsche here oh yeah here it is <laughs> there we go so again this is a motorbike you would unlock a long way into the game so there we go so we've, we've unlocked that so what we're going to do now is if we just press escape and we save this and we'll do it as a we'll do it over that one. Are you sure you want to overwrite this save? Confirm. Okay, so that's now saved. And what we'll do is we'll come out. We'll come out of here. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, and then what we should find is if we go over to the Xbox. So what I have here is this is um, this is a capture card that uh, that's going through my Xbox is going through a capture card, which is then going into my PC. So that's why you can see. You can see this screen, and in fact, if we go full screen on it, okay, that's as much as we can do. So let's pick up my Xbox controller. Um, let's just c come up, go out to the main menu, uh, and then we'll go back in again, and then we should find that we've got these vehicles unlocked for this character. I'm just doing this just to give the, the cloud saves a chance to catch up. Now a lot of people are playing Cyberpunk 2077 at the moment because of the cartoon series. Let's go into it. Breaching. So now if we go into low game. Now what's quite important is if you look in the 
the bottom right, bottom left hand corner, it says cross progression and it says logged in. Now that's really important that. Um, if you just follow the instructions that it says, if it says log in and it, that you'll see a, a quick a QR code or you'll also see a, um, uh, a, a unique URL that you can use. And you visit that URL either by scanning the QR code with your mobile phone or just typing in the, the URL into your, your web browser or you know, Chrome or something like that. That will then take you over to GOG, which you can then log in as. And that links your Xbox or PlayStation account with your GOG account. So it automatically, from the PC version of Cyberpunk, syncs to the cloud with that. And then if you log in. Now what I have found is that the game will log you out on Xbox um, and, and probably PlayStation 2. So even if you've done this in the past, you may well find that you're logged out and you need to log in again. But as you can see, we are logged in. And then if we look at the top, we can see there's, there's playing for time, um, which, which is there. So if we go into this, um, Oh, you sure want to continue? Yes, because we all we've done is we've just unlocked and stuff, and then we should be able to log in. And then, with a bit of luck, our starting well, our very new character will have unlocked things they shouldn't have. Let's go back. There we go. There we go. So there is. So just to kind of confirm things, if we go to our character, so you can see my character is only level eight. So they're really low, you know, they've only just started off, and yet on Xbox I have access to Jackie's motorbike and there's Johnny's Porsche, which we can get into. And we can have a look round. So how cool, how cool is that? And so you could see we could, you know, use um, the simple menu or any other mods to really play around with our uh, character and um, I would probably do it on custom build so I would probably start a new character don't use it on your main playthroughs because there's always a chance that something may well become corrupted and it may not work again but hopefully with this video you can see the power of cross save um, from PC to console to Xbox or PlayStation with the fact that you can use things like the simple player menu um, on PC to alter your character you know to level them up to unlock um, uh, vehicles and weapons and the like um, and then play with them on console all right so hopefully you find that useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon